Starfield is not a perfect game. I like it, like many others, but it comes with issues. Like not enough funny costumes! One of my viewers has noted that vendors don't have enough money. This is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own Starfield mod, fixing this issue through a custom INI and BAT file. This is an excellent introduction to modding because it's really easy, thus a perfect first step towards making your own mods to make the game just as you want it. Let's get started! Be sure to subscribe to stay connected to content showing you how to improve your games. Now, let's break the game. To start, we need to make or edit a Starfield custom.ini file. Go to your Documents, My Games, Starfield folder and check if you have this file. If you do not have it, create a new file, ensuring your Windows settings allow you to see the file extension and create it. Next, you need to add the following lines of code. In addition, we need a line of code to run the BAT file, which automates running a console command. Place the following lines of code below the others in your INI file. If you have multiple BAT files, perhaps wanting one to spawn a terramorph a bit ahead of you in another room, separate the bat commands with a semicolon, as is shown. Now, let's make the BAT file that rules them all. To do this, go to your Starfield main game directory, which for Steam users will be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Starfield. Create a file with the name that you put in in the INI file except with a .txt at the end, or showmethemoney.txt. Since this is a general tutorial, I'm going to show you how to increase the funds of only one merchant. For others, you would simply repeat the command for each separate NPC ID. Place the following code to give more money to the weapon dealer in Jemison. Now, when you load the game, when you want the vendor that you have listed to get more funds, you open up the console and type bat show me the money. What's great is that you can place multiple commands in each of these BAT files, as is accomplished in a script that I made specifically for this video. Once Creation Kit is out, I'll show you all how to do this through ESP files, which are a lot more flexible, but require Creation Kit. That way, a user won't have to type in a console command to run the BAT file. So you can also produce a mod that gives a 1% chance of spawning a lethal Terramorph anytime you talk to an NPC, as I'm considering doing. INI and BAT files will still be useful though, because they're great for changing background parameters like reloading time. So you will learn how to make your own mods in this video, starting your brave journey as a mod creator and helping the community make even better Starfield mods. Be sure to let me know what mods you plan to make in the video comments or a tutorial that you would find particularly useful that I can focus on for my next video. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It'll help me get closer to my target of 500 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Starship out. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help.